I'm now joined alongside JMU's Fenwick Trimble. Fenwick, only a few weeks left of the season. So crazy. How have you been enjoying it so far? I've loved it. It's been a uh, it's been a great experience up here. Um, host family's great. Team's great. Coaches are great. Um, the whole whole organization is just an awesome experience. And this is such a close group. One of the closest teams in a summer league group I've ever seen. How awesome is it to get to know these guys? Yeah, we got a lot of great guys. You know, personalities that are awesome. They, we all we all we've known each other for a month, and it's it's like we're best friends forever. So I mean, it's been great with as for a team chemistry standpoint and. Uh, we, hopefully we get to keep carrying it along as long as possible. And I know a few weeks ago your family was in town. How awesome was it to look out into the crowd and see some familiar faces? Uh, it was great. I mean, they, they support me so much, and just to see them come up here, it meant a lot to me. And your brother, South, plays baseball at George Mason. So how awesome is it to have kind of like a built-in best friend that you can go to with anything? Yeah, I mean, I can always ask him questions, spitball things about our swings, how we're playing, different pitchers and everything. I mean, he's he's a great role model. I look up to him so much. and. He's been huge for me in my career. How was it growing up? Were you guys battling in the backyard learning how to play baseball? Yeah, definitely. We, uh, you know, I was a little brother, always <laughs> wanted to be the big brother, and he'd always get me. And then, uh, I mean, it was just constantly having that competitive edge over each other, and we'd always try and win. So definitely has played a big role in my career. And you played not only baseball, of course, but then basketball and football growing up. So when did you really decide that you wanted to commit to playing baseball? It was really after my freshman year of high school. I continued to play basketball and baseball in high school past freshman year. Um, but, you know, baseball I always loved the most, and it was it was always the most fun to me. It's just so many things in the game of baseball that was, like, it's just so challenging and easy at the same time that it's like you got to balance both and work on every aspect of it, and I just love that. And then your time at JMU has been incredible so far. Is there any memories from this past season that stand out to you? Um, playing in the conference tournament was great. I mean, we didn't make a regional, but, you know, hopefully we will this next year, and we're, we're going to work our tails off for it. But I think playing in that conference tournament was great because in freshman year we didn't get to play in it as we were moving conferences. So that was a great experience. Um, it's just, I mean, great year overall. Our team chemistry was awesome. Um, I just enjoyed it a lot. And your coaches at JMU have said time and time again that you're such a leader out there and you always like to hype up your teammates, especially the ones that maybe are doing a little down at some games. Has that been your mindset just throughout your athletic career? Yeah, I mean, I just always want to be there for my teammates. And, you know, if they're down, you know, I'll ask them how they're doing, crack a joke, try and make them happy. And I just try and always have a positive attitude with everything. And that sometimes, I mean, I try to, like, feed that to everyone else to just always have a good attitude, no matter whether you're playing the best or playing the worst, just always staying level-headed. And, uh... That's something that's been big for me, I guess, with my success. And on this Firebirds team, you currently lead with 11 RBIs. And I know the phrase is pass the baton, and you're definitely doing that. So is that your mindset when you go up to the plate? Yeah, I mean, just doing anything I can to do my job um, and pass the baton. Yeah, I mean, it's just like put it on the next guy, and it keeps going. Everyone has that attitude. It, we string things together and score runs. And we've been playing pretty good ball recently, so it's it's been working. And Kelly Nicholson, of course, is a great coach, but he also loves teaching life lessons. Is there a certain lesson that you will definitely take with you in the fall when you go back to JMU? Yeah, I mean, he actually had a long talk with us the other day about the power of decision making and making the right decisions and, you know, having routine. And that's something that for this fall is just, I mean, every fall it's huge, just having a routine, making good decisions. And, you know, I mean, it, it, everything usually fans out your way when you make the right decisions. So that was, that was a big talk the other day he had with us, which was it's going to last a long time, so great. It was great. And I know that you take this league and this season so seriously, and I also know that you are hungry to get that ring. So what really fires you up in the next few weeks to get that done? Yeah, just, I mean, playing playing as hard as we can. It's it's fun winning. It's fun winning championships, and um, I'm just excited. I'm excited to go with these guys. They're a lot of fun. Well, thank you so much, and good luck tonight. Thank you.